Hi everybody, this is Mr. Nolan, uh, and uh, in this video I just want to go over um, the comparison uh, discussion that we had in class about plants, animals, and fungi. Uh, so in this case, these are just a few examples of, uh, of, of these different groups of organisms. For plants, I've got this poison ivy. Uh, you can tell it's got these three leaves, and at this time of the year, in the fall, it starts to turn this brilliant um, reddish, uh, bright fiery red color. I've got an echidna here for uh, our, our animal example. <clears throat> and then I have uh, some mushrooms here for our fungus example. There's actually lots of different kinds of, of fungi. But the goal of this video is really to be able to compare plants and animals uh, and fungi, I should add that, and fungi, based on their characteristics. And uh, so to do that, what we're going to use is uh, this triple Venn diagram. And so you may have seen a double Venn diagram before with only two circles, but this is a triple Venn diagram. And uh, what we're going to include in this triple Venn diagram are these seven characteristics. Uh, so let me actually make these a little bigger for you. Okay. So these, uh, the characteristics of, of these organisms are going to include uh, they grow, they need light uh, in order to grow, they can move around their environment, they use energy, uh, chemical reactions happen in their bodies, they're made of cells, and they must consume food. Now these are a little bit different than the ones that we talked about in class. I reworded these a little bit just to make them a little bit clearer. So let's bring up Sketchpad here. Uh, and what we can do with this triple Venn diagram is we can basically just assign these different numbers to these different quadrants on this triple Venn diagram. So uh, if, if you're not sure how this works, the way that this works is that if you are, let's say, out here, it means that you're talking only about who? Animals. But if you're only, oops. But if you're out here, you're talking only about plants. And if you're out here, that means you're talking about only decomposers. Now, if you are here, it means you're talking about animals and decomposers. If you're here, it means plants and decomposers. Here means animals and plants. And then if you're in the middle, that means that we're talking about all three of them. So that's how this triple Venn diagram uh, works. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and uh, figure out where do each of these things belong. Let's start uh, with number one, uh, they grow. So uh, they grow. Well, who grows? Well, do animals grow? Uh, do plants grow? Do decomposers such as mushrooms grow? Uh, I think it doesn't, we don't have to stretch ourselves very much to say yes, 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 right? They all grow, so we're going to put number one right here in the middle, applying to all of them. All plants and animals uh, and decomposers grow. They go from little to large, so they grow. Uh, next question, we can do in orange here. They need light to grow. Now, this question I want to qualify. What I mean is they need light to grow, is that if, if it doesn't get light for, you know, let's say a week or so, it dies. Well, believe it or not, there are animals that live their whole lives without any light at all, and they're fine. Um, and actually, decomposers such as mushrooms, you can grow those in a cellar. You can grow them in the dark. So animals and decomposers, I think they can both go without light. Uh, it's really plants that are the ones that need light to grow. So I'm going to put two over here. Plants are the ones that need light to grow, and only plants. Um, you know, you wouldn't be very happy without light, but you could survive. You could live. Um, so light goes over here. They can move around their environment. They can move around their environment. That's kind of an interesting one. So when we say that, I reworded that a little bit um, just to make it clear that we're talking about like walking or swimming or flying around, right? Those, that's what I mean by move around their environment. I mean, yes, a plant or a mushroom technically can move, but really that's very unusual. And even if it does, you're probably just thinking about growth. I mean, if a plant grows, you know, if a pine tree grows to be 50 feet tall, well, obviously it moved from the ground to those 50 feet in the air, but that's only because it grew, right? And we already said that one applies to all of them. So as far as moving around their environment, I think that only applies to animals. And actually not even all animals. Some animals don't even move around in their environment. But the only organisms that really can move around in the environment are going to be animals. How about energy? They use energy. Um, well, do animals use energy? I think that we talked about in class how they eat, and so that's how animals get energy. Plants, well, they get energy from the sun, right? Plants photosynthesize, they get energy from the sun. And decomposers, we saw in that video that we watched, that decomposers get their energy 
from breaking down rotting stuff, you know, dead decomposing matter in the environment. So I think everyone uses energy. I think it's reasonable to put four there. Chemical reactions happening in their bodies. So chemical reactions, they're moving and changing matter around. While well, animals eat, right, and that comes, and then the food comes out as waste and, and energy. Uh, plants produce their own food, right? Some of us know that plants produce their own food. And decomposers are breaking down that, that detritus, that you know, gunk in the ground. They're breaking that down into their food. So I think that it's reasonable to say that five belongs with all of them, that all organisms have chemical reactions happening in their bodies. Uh, made of cells. What about made of cells? Well, think about it this way. If I were to put an animal under a microscope, would I see cells? Or how about a plant? Or how about a decomposer? I think that for all of these things, if you were to look at them under a microscope, you would find some cells. So I think six probably belongs in the middle as well. Now the last one, they must consume food. Consuming food, that's kind of an interesting question. Well, obviously animals consume food. Right, they have to eat food, uh, and even mushrooms do. Actually, mushrooms are breaking down dead, rotting, decomposing matter. So, actually, something like mushrooms or decomposer, they must actually be consuming food as well. But we know that plants produce their own food, and uh, and th that's why they need light to grow because they produce their own food. So, I think that seven consuming their own food that actually belongs over here. So, if we look carefully at this Venn diagram, I think that we can probably agree that we're going to end up with something that looks a little bit like this. That we've got. Uh, that animals own, are the only ones that actually can move around, plants are the only ones that actually need light, decomposers and animals are the only ones that have to consume food, but everybody else belongs in the middle, right? One, four, five, and six all belong in the middle. So I hope that this uh, helps you to be able to compare plants, animals, and decomposers based on their characteristics. That is, after all, the goal of this video. So uh, what you should be able to do now is to look at a plant or an animal or a fungus and say, these are all of the traits that are, that are unique to that, that organism. And one thing I want you to ask yourself, actually, uh, you can rewind the video and go back to that triple Venn diagram and look at it. Um, how are these organisms related? Like, think about animals. Um, are animals more like plants, or are they more like fungi? Or are fungi more like plants, or are fungi more like animals? Uh, so this is a really good question I want you to just kind of leave you with um, as, as you go forth and think about comparing plants, animals, and fungi based on their characteristics.